What's going on everybody? It's Gimmon Box from Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 video. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to create Polaris using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so obviously the first thing you want to do is come to the character customizer, which is in Avengers Mansion. Then you want to come all the way over here and choose a brand new character slot. You can see I've already made Cable, Havoc, Daredevil in his classic original yellow costume. We also made Gambit, the ultimate version of Wolverine, and now of course we're going to be making Polaris. Right, so Polaris, you can actually make a pretty good recreation of her in this game. She's had a few different kind of redesigns over the years, so you could say this is a mix of a few different versions, but the version that I'm mainly basing it on is the new Marvel Legends Polaris, min uh, not minifigure, sorry, action figure. That's kind of what I'm going for here, but it's also a little bit different because I thought some of the things that I added to my design look quite cool. So anyway, let's get started. First off, let's get rid of that Electro headpiece even though it looks pretty cool. Alright, so for the headpiece, the one that I go with is Gamora's. Now, the only thing that I don't think people are going to like about this is obviously the face printing, you know, the silver bit. And I didn't like that at first. I was like, oh man, if only that wasn't there. But to be honest, the more I play as Polaris, the more I actually like it. I think it adds to the detail and looks pretty cool. And to, you know, you got to think, when you're actually playing as the character, you're barely going to see the front of the face anyway. You're always seeing the back in a third person game. So it really doesn't matter. I'm sure, you know, you'll eventually get used to it anyway. Now for the hair, this is where it gets kind of uh, tricky. Well, not tricky as such, but like you get a choice basically. So we're going to go with this one right here. This is long curly. And obviously over the years, Polaris has had a few different hair colors. They've always been green, but they've been different shades of green. You know, we've had this one in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 1. We've had this one in, uh, I think, Wolverine and the X-Men. We've had, you know, it's bright green and there's a dark green. I'm going to go with the dark green because that is what I've seen from the Marvel Legends figure. I could be wrong, you know, it, I could go with uh, this, this, or this instead, but I'm just focusing on the one design that I've seen so far. Um, but again, you know, like I said, you could always change it if you want to. You could make a mix of different versions of Polaris. It's entirely up to you. Now, for the body, we're going to go with Enchantress. Although, I'll show you one second. You could go with... Well, I'll tell you what, no, I'll show you that uh, at the end. Like, not at the end of the video, but, like, at the end of uh, this little bit of creation we're doing right here. But for the arms, the arms that I go for is... Oh, where is it? It's, it's a Hydra character. This one right here. I don't know what it is, but I really like that. I think that adds to the detail. It looks pretty cool. So we'll go with Hammer. Then we want to make the hands dark green for gloves. For the hips, we want to make them Enchantress as well, which is somewhere up here. No, it's not. It's done. There it is. I just passed it. And then for the legs, we also want to make them Enchantress. You're going to use a lot of Enchantress pieces. And uh, now we just need a cape, which is going to be dark green. And there you go. That is pretty much the overall design complete. What I wanted to mention before was basically you could use Morgan Le Fay's pieces if you don't want to use Enchantress. They actually both kind of work quite nicely, but I just prefer Enchantresses. I think they look more like Polaris, basically. But uh, or you could use one of these as well. There's actually quite a few available. Um, this one. So you could use that instead if you wanted to, but uh, now nah, I'm going to stick with Enchantress. I, I just think that looks much better. There it is. Awesome. Alright, so now we can move on to the abilities. So the only passive ability that I'm going to give her is magic. Now magic is just going to act as magnetism. There isn't actually a magnetism ability in the game. You know, like when, when I uh, made my Magneto video, you know, I said how there isn't any magnetism. So you just kind of have to work with what you've got. So we can just pretend that the magic is her using her magnetism abilities. And to be honest, when you're actually, you know, using the magic in the game, it doesn't really have that much of a, you know, a magic kind of effect. So so it does work as magnetism and I will show that in the gameplay section of this video so we'll just go with magic then we're gonna go with uh, tap square so for tap square now this is both for tap square and hold square basically I didn't know this before looking it up but Polaris I thought she just had the abilities of Magneto, but she also has the ability to manipulate the electromagnetic spectrum and some energies like electricity, electromagnetic, and magnetic. So she can actually, like, shoot, um, basically, like, uh, lightning, kind of like Storm, but I think it's actually a bit more powerful than Storm, if I remember correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Bolts, Bolt Origin, both hands, then we're going to go with uh, Bolt Style... 
yeah, we'll go with that one, Bolt Style 2, and we're going to make it this color right here. Now, from the Marvel Legends action figure, you see she comes with a piece, it's like a power piece, and it does kind of look like that's what she's doing, so that's the color I'm going with. So I think it looks quite good. There's this one as well, but yeah, I think that looks much better. So we're going to go with that one. Uh, bolt damage type, I think we'll just go with, I guess, electric bolts, yeah, because that's what she's shooting, really. Yep, okay, cool. And then for hold square, we're going to go with a beam. Beam damage type, we'll go with heat. For the beam origin, we'll go with both hands. For the beam style, we'll go with... Yeah, definitely that one. And then for the color, just go with that one again. And that looks pretty awesome. Now then, on to tap circle. So for tap circle, what I did was... Um, I gave her a force field because, you know, Polaris can create magnetic force fields. So I think it's, you know, it makes sense. And, you know, I, I'm going to go with uh, this color right here. Because I don't know, I just, I love the different colors and things that we can choose from. Or we could just make it blue or purple or something. But, like, because when I did the Magneto video, I made it blue. Um, so I did like that. Which look quite cool, but I want to I want to kind of keep the colors all the same for Polaris because I think it looks pretty awesome. It suits the design and everything, so that's what we're going to go with. We're going to stick with that color because it looks pretty awesome. And then for Hold Circle, I'm going to go with the same attack that I did for Magneto, I believe, which is this one right here, and we'll just make that the same color as well. And for that, we will go with yeah, just heat explosion. Now, I just want to make sure, did I, I can't remember if I actually put that on the beam. The beam damage type. No, I didn't. See, I didn't put that on. So, make sure with the uh, hold down square beam, it is an electric one. Because, obviously, you're shooting what is essentially electricity. So, I've done the passive, square, circle. Now, on to double tap X. So, for double tap X, we're going to go with flight. Because Polaris can suspend herself in flight by riding the Earth's magnetic field. So, that's definitely what we're going to go with. Uh, for hold X, I'm just going to leave that alone. Alright, so that's all the abilities done. Now we just need to go to passive traits and choose some uh, health icons and stuff. So for health icon, definitely going to go with that one. Health type, we'll go with standard. Voice, just go with any female voice. I'm going to go with that one. Uh, movement speed, we'll go with default. Target reticle, just go with... Uh, it's not a full on green one, is there? There's green and red, I suppose. Uh... No, there's nothing uh, full on green. That's kind of annoying. I, you kind of want just green, don't you? Just to fit the whole design because everything else is green. So it's kind of perfect. Okay, we'll just go with that then. Um, I mean, I could go with that, but it looks kind of weird. So I'll just go with this one. All right, now we just need to name her and then choose a background image. So put it in caps. Laris. Hooray, awesome. And then for the background image, we will go with... Let me see here. What can we go with? Is that like a castle or something? That'd be kind of cool. No, it doesn't seem to be. Okay, I'll just go with that then. That, that looks awesome. All right, cool. All right, guys. So now, of course, what we're going to do is drop Polaris into the Chronopolis hub world and see just what she can do. And here she is. This is, of course, my custom-made Polaris made in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. Let's just get a good look at her right here. Very, very cool. I like the arm pieces. I think that works quite nicely here. Sometimes she wears gloves, sometimes she doesn't. I think she wore gloves in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 1, and I don't know, I just, I kind of like it, so I wanted to keep the gloves. So what could she do? Well, she can shoot these uh, electric blasts like this against these def defenseless uh, snowmen. She can also shoot a beam of electricity as well which looks very very cool look at that awesome very very nice she's also got a force field so she can defend herself which is pretty cool i'll go into the, the darker area so you can see it better there you go look at that awesome and she can also do this boom Awesome. And, oh yeah, of course she can fly as well. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is, this is obviously Polaris, you know, she can uh, use, like, she can lift magnetic objects and things like that, like Magneto. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fly all the way over to 
Well, actually, no. What we'll do is we'll take care of some enemies and then we'll fly all the way over to that area where you can actually use the magic just to showcase, you know, her kind of using magnetism, but not exactly. But it's the best you can do, basically. Right. Let's take care of these enemies. Pretty easy, to be honest. All right, so we take, took care of him pretty easily. What I'll do now is I'm going to use the force field and see if they can attack me. Look at that. No chance. Absolutely no chance at all. And boom. Oh, it didn't work. Wow. Havoc is getting uh, his butt kicked right there. Come on, man. Okay. Now, come on, charge towards me. Yeah. No match. No match for me. Great job, Polaris. I think uh, she plays pretty good. Like, I think... Uh, like I said, there's not a lot of magnetism kind of abilities, but I think it's good that she has like other abilities as well because you can take advantage more of them than the ones that aren't in the game. It's a shame there isn't like magnetism and stuff like that, but if it's not there, you can't help it. You know, you just got to do your best, really. Got to do your best with what you've got. And she can fly, which is awesome. Flying under bridges. But I think if I remember correctly, the uh, magic place where you can actually use it's not like a magic place but it's an area which requires like magic for an activity but the activity like never seems to disappear so that's good but it's over here somewhere in Hala homeworld of the Kree this is it yeah so if you destroy this box here and then you press circle she does this so that's pretty cool you know that works. No walking on the green. This isn't football. All right, all right. I'm, I'm getting off it. This is worse than that time with the mega ball. <laughs> that crazy. She is unstoppable. Ranting about something earlier. Do 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 do. Is this like the golf music or something for the golf course? Now, I know uh, Polaris actually features in that new X-Men TV show, Gifted. I really want to start watching that. Yes, I actually haven't st watched it yet. I, I'm sorry. I know that must shock you, but I haven't. I just haven't had time to watch it yet. But uh, it looks really good, and I do want to give it a shot because uh, it looks cool. And apparently Polaris is awesome in it, so I would very much like to watch it. And it just got a second series as well, so should be good. <laughs> this is so easy. <laughs> if you guys would also like to see characters from uh, Gifted, well, I don't know much about them yet because I haven't watched it. I'll look into it and I'll see, like, if you want me to make, like, uh, Polaris from the show as opposed to this classic version, I'll, I'll definitely look into it and see what I can do. I've noticed some criminal activity not far from where you are. You know what to do. Okay. Well, wait, no, because I, <laughs> I just got rid of all the criminals. <laughs> oh, the crime is so delayed. It's like, oh, by the way, there's a bad guy. Oh, yeah, I took him out ages ago. Oh, well, what about this one? Nope, took him out too. Okay. It's a shame you can't uh, shoot your blasts and beams and stuff uh, when you're flying. But, oh, well. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, I like the uh, the dark green hair I chose. I think it works for this design, but I think all the other greens work as well. It just depends on what you prefer. I just wanted to stick with the design that I was basing it on, which is the Marvel Legends uh, action figure. Mystery. I like there's some sort of... I hope with the next character creator and things, we will get to uh, to have like the ability to basically choose animations. So if you wanted, say for example, to, I don't know, change the flight animation. So instead of like, wait a minute, I'm just waiting for this to finish. You came along. So you see when Polaris flies in this, because it's a custom character, she puts a hand out. It'd be cool if you could make it so they don't do that, or you want them to fly a different way, or maybe they can fly with a glider or like some sort of flying object. That would be pretty cool. Um, we won't get, we will not get that in uh, 
in this character creator, but we might see it in the next LEGO game, whatever that may be. Hopefully. They've said that the character creator is only going to get better from here, so I'm excited. Can't wait to see more of it. Some brave gardener takes care of it before it can... Is that a reference to the trailers to Guardians of the Galaxy? Because uh, I think, wasn't there a deleted scene where Nebula says, uh, Gardens of the Galaxy? And, uh, and then Gamora's like, Guardians of the Galaxy? Why would we be the gardeners of the galaxy? And then Drax is like, ha <laughs> so stupid. I think that's a reference to that. It wasn't in the movie, but it was in the trailers for volume two of Guardians. Oh, my bad guys. All right, let's go take them out. Do you mind? Get out of here. Help! I'm coming. Oh, here we go. Oh, what? Come at me. Yeah, finally took them out. Much obliged, partner. No problem. Fast. I'll let you know if I find any others. Cool. Wah, wah, wah. I got myself another problem. No. It's usually it usually revolves around like collecting stuff. If it's not to do with fighting bad guys, I'm not interested. <laughs> Let's see if there's any trouble going on in Asgard. There might be. Never know. Whoa! That would have hurt. Bashing into that at super fast you speed. Yes, it would. Please. By all means. No, there doesn't seem to be anyone in Asgard. We can fly all the way to the top of this volcano, which is awesome. Purple stud, not that I need it, but hey, it's there. It's there for the taking. I'll try 2099. 2099 might have some cool enemies to fight. It usually does. They, they, I don't know if there's like a a random spawning system or if. Uh, really? Where? Where? Like over here? Yeah, I, I don't know if there's like some random spawning system because I know where all the enemies spawn. I just don't know if, like, they're timed, or if they're timed to spawn at certain points, or, or if it's just random. Like, the points that they spawn at, that is not random, that is, like, scripted, but where they, uh, when they are spawned, that's what I want to know. Is that random, or... Because sometimes characters spawn in the places that I expect them to, and other times they don't. It's probably just all randomly generated, I would say. Never get sick of that move. <laughs> it's always so cool. Ah, finally! Like that. Public eye response times are pretty shocking, huh? Yep. You said it. <laughs> All right. I think we'll uh, head on back to Manhattan now, and uh, you know, if we see any enemies on on the way we'll uh, we'll definitely take them out but uh, I think we'll call it a day once we get there but yeah like like I said I mean I think Polaris came out pretty good I think she's one of those characters where you can ca you can recreate them really easily because there's a bunch of green pieces and stuff and you don't have to use Enchantress you could use the other character that I was talking about in the uh, creation part of the video I just think Enchantress has worked better because it's a mix of dark green and light green and uh, yeah and the hair again, you could choose any different shade of green. It wor it works either way. Ow! What the heck, man? Ah, 
Oh, I'm taking these guys out pretty quickly. This is more of a challenge, because they actually block and everything. What? Oh, nice. Got them on the ropes now. Yep, that's another one. There's one left. Let's see if we can take them out in one hit. Probably not, but watch this. Oh, nearly. Nearly. Yes, we did it. We took out all four. Nice job. All right. Sorry, I don't mean to destroy your stall, but I need to destroy your stall. <laughs> Are you a real hero, though? How many dragons have you slain? 52. And counting. <laughs> Where's the bad guys that usually spawn here? Nowhere to be seen. I'm just kind of destroying everything uh, I can see now just to showcase all the powers because the powers are pretty cool. I like the colors and effects and things. I hope you guys won't be uh, disappointed in the fact that there's not a lot of magnetic abilities, but like I already said, you can't really do anything about that. So I just decided to take advantage of another ability that Lorna has. Whoa. Look at those blasts in the distance. That was pretty cool. So, you've returned for some more hot joust action. Why is it hot? <laughs> is ready when hot you jousting. If you have a buddy, hot you can jousting joust against action. each other. If not, let me know, and I'll get Winston to saddle up. Oh, sure, he'll complain, but that's what he gets for eating my yogurt. Mm, you need to stop him from eating your yogurt. Every time I make these videos, he seems to eat more of your yogurts. Nothing for n and boom! <laughs> Destroy everything in Wakanda. Missed a lot of studs there. Oh well. Oh crap! I went to get a hair dryer to thaw out that frozen guy in the cave, but I got totally distracted. <laughs> I'm surprised we don't have the technology to make this whole kind thing go away. Unless we do, and it's just buried under all of the other cool stuff, like the self-cleaning waffle iron. <laughs> it's, it's a good point, actually. Wakanda are a very highly advanced civilization. Why can't they work out the way to uh, fix all of this? Hmm. Very interesting. Good point. Good point, NPC. Thanks again for helping with the trees. You got to the root of the problem in no time. Ah. I wish tourists would stop trying to climb in the giant panther's mouth. Somebody is going to hurt themselves. Alright. Cool. Let's head on back to Manhattan. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Oh, you serious? Okay, just as I leave Wakanda, more enemies appear. That's okay. You know, we're always there to protect and serve, so let's take them out. Aha! And I put my shield up, <laughs> even though I don't need it. But it's still cool. I love the, the color though of the force field. It looks pretty awesome. Anyway, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Like I said, you know, I think uh, the costume looks pretty good. I think it looks similar to what uh, Polaris wears in lots of different media. It depends on what, like, version you're looking at. You could look at the toys, 
you could look at the cartoons, you could look at the comics. I mean, yeah, and like I said, you could look at her from Gifted. You know, there's uh, there's lots of different versions of the character. And, you know, if you want me to make uh, different versions of this character, like, uh, say, you know, the Gifted version or someone else from Gifted, I'll definitely look into it. Because, you know, I showed yesterday that I'm doing not just characters now, but also costumes. So I made the classic yellow uh, Daredevil costume and I've seen other people want other Daredevil costumes as well and don't worry I'm seeing those comments and I'm definitely working on those uh, characters uh, sorry costumes so yeah I'm, I'm definitely open to making costumes as well as characters in this game and you could surprisingly make more costumes and characters to be honest there's actually quite a lot you can do it's pretty cool anyway guys I want to thank you very much for watching stay tuned for lots more videos real soon and as always please remember to like comment and subscribe.